Hi. I wanted to go over a little bug that I had in my code here. I have this text area with a whole chapter's worth of notes from a library book going over JavaScript. And I have a start button that when I click it, it calls uh, JavaScript and it scrolls this notes page. Well, actually, it scrolls the text area here of the page because this bar up here with the buttons in it are uh, fixed elements, so that doesn't scroll, only the text area contents. And it also um, plays an MP3 simultaneously of me reading this chapter. So you can look at the uh, words and hear the audio at the same time. It's not it's not timed perfectly but it's it's not too bad. I think if you're gonna have a scroll with an audio it's better to do little short, sn short snippets at a time uh, so that maybe your reading doesn't start to lag or get too fast for the consistent um, speed of the scroll. I think the only way, even even if you were to set the scroll up and then read it while it's scrolling, I don't know if you can get a consistently perfect world with a super long set of notes. I think you're still going to get something lagging or going ahead of itself. But for small short snippets, it's probably okay code. All right, so you hit the start. It starts scrolling and the mp3 starts playing that I can hear in my headphones you can't hear. And the pause button calls different JavaScript that pauses this text and pauses the mp3 right where it is. If I hit start again, we go on ahead and hear the mp3 where it left off and it scrolls where it left off. If I hit stop, this is what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to stop the mp3 and it's supposed to start this page at the very tippy top of the notes. This text area should start right here where you see these um, dashed lines and start chapter 13. Well, it was buggy. If you took either of these scroll bars and manually slid them down like so and then you hit the stop, you can see up where it should have. So what I found was I tried a couple things. I tried a JavaScript that works similarly to the refresh page, you know, reload the page, refresh the page, and that didn't uh, give me a consistent result. What happened was when I made the text area height so high, so long, that this scroll bar disappeared, then I got the functionality that I wanted. So let me hit start one more time. This is the bug, okay? I'm going to manually push this down. I'm going to hit stop. And you, you can see the bug. This is not taking me all the way to the tip top. That's what I wanted this button to do. So let's go inside the code and change the height from 20,000 pixels to 50,000 pixels. Save it in Notepad++. Open it back up in the browser. Refresh the browser. And as you can see, the scroll bar does, in fact, disappear here. But what if this was opened on a more narrow device than the screen I'm using right now? So I'm going to make this a little smaller. And as you can see, 50,000 pixels, we end up with another scroll bar, even when this is, is about, about as narrow as it's able to be. Uh, I don't want that scroll bar. So I'm going to try to come up with... I'm going to go stop right here. I'm going to come up with a height that's even larger than 50,000. I'm going to go with 100,000 pixels. Just for the sake of argument, refresh the page. And that's more than enough height to make that inner scroll bar of the text area disappear. So now let me hit start. OK, I'm here in my MP3. I'm going to manually scroll down in here somewhere. Oh, actually I went too far. I went all the way past the end. Now when I hit the stop button, that is how it's supposed to function. The mp3 stops immediately. We get we get right here where we want to be and if I hit start again, the mp3 resumes at point zero at the very beginning. So that's the three different functionalities. The start uh, scrolls and starts an mp3. The pause pauses the mp3 where it, wherever it stops and pauses the scroll 
the stop completely stops the scroll and takes you to the very tip top of the notes and restarts and when you hit start it restarts the mp3 at point zero so those are the three different functionalities of these buttons that I went over um, I can quickly go over the JavaScript for the heck of it I just don't want to take too long on this because I already went through all of this in the last video so function page scroll very simple window dot scroll by 0 comma 1 scroll delay equals set timeout page scroll comma 50 and then we have function stop scroll and all it's got is one line clear timeout and then in parentheses scroll delay and then I have function back to top uh, again the window dot scroll to originally was an XY coordinate I, I'm thinking this is an XY coordinate of uh, it was 500 comma 0 that's what it was when I took it from um, whatever internet source that I found it from uh, so then I changed it to 0 0 thinking that would take me to the tip top and then I even tried location dot reload true because this is uh, how to like reload a page and I thought that would do the trick but neither of these did the trick until I changed my text the uh, ID of info my text area with the ID of info to that super crazy tall height and again here's that text area text area ID info and you could just type until your fingers content and write all the junk you want and then get down to wow get down to the end of the text area and text area and div and body and HTML so if you do decide to use this code snippet for anything and you you didn't like how the stop button was acting before try setting the height of that text area element to something super long and then your stop buttons functionality should work appropriately there's probably other ways to fix that problem but this is the first way that I found to fix it so if it's not the best way I apologize but it's it's what I found currently